Hey everybody, welcome back to the reviews today. That's it guys, throw away your, your Venom cases, throw out your uh, night flight cards, go into your magic stuff, chuck it all out. You don't need it, all you need is this to become the best mentalist in the world. I'm of course talking of Marvin's mind-blowing magic, mind-reading tricks. That's it, it's game over guys. Just, just get this, 10 quid, you're done, sorted. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, please do not throw away your Venom cases, do not throw away your, 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 your um, night flight decks from uh, Steve, please uh, hang on to those. We're gonna get into this. So, I did, uh, this is actually Steve Deller's fault, okay? So for everybody out there, we are blaming Steve for this, but he sent me his cracker cards, which reminded me of the old Marvin's magic trick. So I thought, you know what? I've got nothing to review. I've got a tiny bit of money left in the account. Actually, it wasn't my account. And I thought, you know what? Let's go way back. Let's go back to where we all kind of started from. And of course, I think for a lot of magicians, it's good old Marvin's Magic. Let's be honest, Marvin's Magic has probably launched so many magic careers out there. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, still get a bit of that childish feeling. So I bought this one. Uh, this was the 30 Miraculous, I can't speak today. 30 Miraculous, Arrakis. 30 mind reading tricks. Okay. Sorry guys, it's um, uh, six days of continuous work and I've just woken up this morning. I was gonna have a lay in and I didn't. So yeah, brain might not be fully functional as not caffeinated or caffeinated enough for this, but uh, I thought, do it anyway. So yeah, so it's a uh, mind blowing magic. This is their mentalism pack. Uh, apparently 30 mi miraculous, miraculous mind reading tricks. Oh, I can't speak today. <laughs> Oh dear, good fun. So in your box, I have actually already opened this box, but you'll get a little slew of pamphlets, uh, some packet tricks, uh, stuff to do with the app. Uh, you'll get some uh, little props as well. And it's maybe the props I'm more interested in. A uh, deck of cards, well, not a deck of cards, packet trick, a uh, little square box, and of course, a key. So we will go through, that is it, all gone what's actually in there so we'll start with the paper boring stuff because i know as a kid i was never interested in the manual i just wanted to go straight in there and get going so you've got some cards as well so you do get your pamphlet uh you do have the app i have tried the app i've downloaded the app i scanned the app i played around with it for two minutes and then i deleted it yeah not for me so all your instructions are in here very important your spooky which is the um the key you have your uh, mind reading block which i'll get to in a minute uh, there's actually a few variations on that as well and each of the variations counts as a magic effect so yeah i can see what they're trying to do there uh, you also do get some very basic sleight of hand training uh, you do get the uh, hypnotic choice uh, you get a card that you're using on the vr things and then you get the uh extra sensory prediction as well but some of these are actually multifunctional so they've built in the functionality into multiple things and the book itself pretty well very well described um there's not much in the way of video tutorials that they reckon there is but some of the other you know from 30 tricks are, are actually things that are used found around the home and using some of the app and using a deck of cards but you don't get given a deck of cards and then some tips and then some access as well. So yeah, I mean, it gives you the basics. It's good enough to start. So we'll start with the, um, right, so we've got Hypnotic Choice, uh, deck of cards with a rather pleasing um, eye effect on there, but it's a deck of cards where I think the idea is they can choose a red and a black card and you can predict you chose it because when you fan it out, you do the cards. The only problem is these do not fan at all because they are made on the worst cardboard known to mankind. Going to have to say with that one, hypnotic choice disappointed. Okay, extra sensory perception. Now this is a bit of a funny one because I kind of like the way they've gone with this and it's sort of like uh, three effects. You have uh, a, cut, a little effect here and you've actually got some holes. There's actually like a stick of pencil in twist up and their selected card rises. It's a bit like the paintbrush, uh, the painting trick that they brought out. But on the back, you do have a number card system where they can choose cards, and then from those cards, you can work out what number they are thinking of between a number of one to 60. Fairly good trick, nothing wrong with that. The other one they have is um, the extra sensory perception. So you have six cards with the different senses on, and that will lead you into a few routines using that. Not too bad. The cards on these, they're not too bad, but again, clumpy because it's printed on very bad cardboard stock. 
but kind of like the idea. Sometimes you can take these ideas and recreate them yourself and make them better. But the imaging is actually quite, I actually do like the imaging they've used on here. Uh, we have um, sense of smell, sense of taste, yeah, sense of hearing, sense of sight, sense of touch, and of course, sense of mind. So yeah, they've got the basic symbols there, kind of get it. Um, yeah, you could probably, there's a few routines that use those, but again, it's not on the best card stock, but the number system's good, and then each one's got a little hole punched out where you've got one hole bigger than the other, and you can do the old reverse round twist. Their selected card comes to the top, or you can maybe do something with just those. So yeah, meh, 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 I will definitely say. Right, we're now down to, let's put that back in there. So yeah, so you get a few of the basic sort of, I think the same tricks that come in there, 250 card tricks, and you get like all the packet tricks in there. But not too bad, but, but, the last three tricks you get are not that bad. One, of course, is everybody's favorite, the moving key, where you place the key on your hand, and then you just make it uh, through the power of your mind, you make it turn and roll over, and usual. The key itself is actually, pretty standard. Um, the teeth are too small. I've never seen a lock with teeth that small in my life. If they made those just a little bit bigger, the size is perfect. You could whack that onto your keychain with a cleaver clip and uh, whoosh, you could carry that around and do it. And actually a very surprisingly powerful effect when done at the right time in the right place. But uh, again, I think uh, Murphy's Magic bought their version, which is a huge honking great big key, which is good for visuals. But for walk around a close up, a key this size actually not bad so this i like i do like the key effect i mean with practice with any magic trick out there with practice you will soon get it to the point where you can get it to move and your hand is not moving i'm doing it kind of there uh you've got to find positions on your hand play around with it but that i like that 10 pounds we will see we will see now the next one is a Colour divination. Now I've seen a few of these on the market which use very fancy electrics. This one uses a little pouch and blue, red and yellow. But it is not a bad little effect. Again, it's one that I think a lot of the bigger ones are based on. The secret is pretty sneaky. I'm going to have to admit I do like the secret on this one and it works pretty well. Um, the good thing is you can have your back turned, they select a colour, they put the colour in the little drawstring, they confirm that they can't see the colour, you still get your back turn, they hide these away, they hand this to you, you come around, you keep it behind your back all the time, and you can actually then work out what colour it is for a very simple method. I think a lot of you are probably already guessing this, but the fact that you can do that is actually kind of nice. And uh, well, even with my fingers of sausages of doom strangler hands, I can actually feel the difference. So I know that's yellow, so, but then I know it's yellow because I put it in. But the way it works, Clever. Now that I like. That is a good little trick. Not too bad on pocket space either. And a nice little three-way choice. Of course, the one I really like is the old uh, Dyson Cube box. Now I do have a few issues with this. Number one is the box itself. It's a little bit of that. It will need a bit of work. I reckon if you take, get a bit of wet and dry, take off some of this, smooth these edges down, I think then it will work a lot better. In its current state, uh, when you use it, it is, um, let's just say, a little bit noisy. But I like the idea of using an elastic band around it as well, because the elastic band doesn't stop the secret from happening. You get a nice little cube in a plastic block. Okay, I know TCC do a dice version of this in a really nice wooden box, which looks a lot better. But for trying it out, Yes, you have your tube. Now, I wish they put the same graphics on here as on the cards. That would have been nice, but this is the other one. But again, sense of taste. All the, the six senses. They choose a sense. They put it in there. They put it on. You've got your back turn. They hand it to you. You take it. Uh, as you're bluffing away, you do the secret move as quietly as possible. And then when you come round, you can then display the box. I can get what's called a peek. I can now see what that is. Um, so I, I can see it nice and easily to the audience. Angles aren't too bad. Just keep it a bit close. And then uh, you can then either go back to your back or you can just sit there, talk, hold it in your hand. And when you finish, just take it off and say, yes, you sex so. And you can do it that way. Uh, that's where the lid needs a little bit of work, by the way. But for £10, you're getting basically three quite strong, nice mentalism effects. A good way of pushing somebody's mentalism. You do get some um, card effects, uh, some app effects as well. You get your Marvin's Magic card, your 
get the little pull out and you can do a virtual the little virtual vr show a card that does the same thing i'm not really into phone magic and using phones uh, you do get a couple of one not so good uh, thing you apparently use these cards to hypno hypnotic oh yeah it's one of those ones that's uh, probably not as good as i think it is but at least for 10 pounds you're getting three very strong effects you're getting a little booklet with another 25 effects in so another 30 effects in there as well i mean on the whole the quality is not the best um it will need a bit of work but i like the simplicity so will that replace no uh for the Perhaps for somebody who wants to try mentalism, they could try this route. I don't think it'd be the best way to be brutally honest. Don't get me wrong, I do love Marvin's magic sets. I think they, as I've said before, they've brought a lot of new magicians into the fold. Um, but I think comparing this to the quality from the kits from about five, six years ago, the quality has dropped a little. I know it's the world we live in, economics, all this stuff that's been going on, I do understand. But to be honest, not bad not brilliant <sighs> young kids definitely uh adults maybe a little bit if they want to try something out but uh like i say i was a little disappointed but i knew what i was getting into but the fact that i've got three very good strong effects out of it for 10 pound actually overall is not bad but uh yes guys you will not need to throw away your mentalism stuff you are safe for the moment carry on enjoying it and that'll be the last review for a little while so until then guys have a fantastic rest of the week and i'll catch you all off because I'm on a day off today, so I'm gonna go and chillax. Bye for now. And we are gone.